friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here then hi, hello, welcome, my name's Casey and today's video, as the title suggests, is this month's Poundland haul for May 2021 and I've got some really good stuff I can't wait to show you, so I do always pop into Poundland to get my usual bits and bobs and I always have a look at what's new and end up buying some random stuff that I love to share with you. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. But if you do enjoy this video, then please do give it a huge thumbs up. It really does support my channel. And if you are new here and want to see more from my face and videos like this, then please do subscribe. It'd be great to have you to join the family. But without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, I have 300 paper stem cotton buds and they are 100% pure cotton tip, environmentally friendly paper stems and it's got a cute little cow on it. As always with videos like this on my channel, all the prices will be popping up at the bottom of the screen for you, but this contains approximately 300. And now, I really want to count them. I'm probably going to do that later. And next, I saw this and I just had to get it. They had like little elephant heads and some other like alpacas that wasn't bobbly, but I liked the bobbly alpaca. And this was one pound in the new Pep and Co range. And I just love fake succulents because I can't keep plants alive. I don't know what it is. I, they come to my home to die. I love them too much and I kill them with my love. I don't know, so I just get them fake because I feel kind of bad that I kill them. I got an umbrella simply because when I went to Powerland it was absolutely peeing it down and I needed a brolly. And then this is definitely new for my store. So we have a Pep & Co Home Tassel Dreamcatcher and this was two pounds. So it looks like that and I love dream catchers, so I just had to get it. I'm gonna get it out. So it has a little ribbon at the top there to hang it. Your tassel, there we go. Oh, tassels are a bit tangled, but what do you expect? Tassels always get tangled. It's just what they do. You look at them in the tangle. Here it is, it's really nice. I like the tassels, they're really, really long actually. I like it. And then I picked up these, they're just like little, little bowls, serving bowls. I eat a lot of nuts and dried fruit, so I thought getting some of these little bowls to take them upstairs for a snack. Only recent cases like really like to snack on in the evening with a cup of tea when I'm in bed, so I thought this would be a good idea to get these. My hauls never really have any kind of root. It goes <laughs> never any direction. I just pick it out of the bag and show you, because I just pack it any old way, I just chuck it in one hand there. Okay, so I've got these fruit zone, strawberry, orange, and blackcurrant strings made with fruit juice concentrate, natural colors and flavors, and five pack, perfect for snacks, lunch boxes, and picnics. And five times 20 grams, and per 100 grams it's 346, so can't do quick maths, we'll just pop it on the screen of how many calories they are per string <laughs> but that's them i thought like it was pretty cool i do like little things like this to stack on so i grabbed them i got whitworths if you're not new here you know that i am obsessed obsessed with whitworths so i just picked up a pack of four they had the pack of four and the pack of three both for a pound so i was like well i may as well get the pack of four that's just logical. And toffee and pecan are my favorite flavor of the Whitworth shots. I get them all, but they're number one and they are 99 calories per pack. And yeah, those are all the other flavors. I have all of them, but these are the best. Talking about my snacks. <laughs> so I got the Whitworth snacking fruit and nook mix. They're amazing, I love them. I was running out, so I was like, I may as well stack up while I'm here, they are a big bag, and they have cashews, and I love cashews, so grab that. And I also grabbed some snacking banana chips. I never really used to like banana chips. I definitely prefer like fresh banana, but I like banana chips now, so they're Whitworths as well. My Whitworth shots, so I forgot I actually got these ones. So these are the raisin and chocolate, and they have golden raisins, crimson raisins, and rich dark chocolate, and they're 91 calories a pack. I forgot to tell you about these ones. So these are Sultana's Dates, Toffee Balls, and Crunchy Pecan Nuts. 
delicious. I have got more than Whip Whip shots. <laughs> so these are 98 calories a pack and these are cranberries, raisins, creamy Belgian white chocolate and yeah, they're just amazing. So I grabbed them as well. So I also got these, so I got this one first. So this one is like a mason jar with just a screw lid and it says homemade on the front there. I think it's really cute, but because I have so many of like the trail mix and the banana chips and things like that, I thought rather than having a load of bags just lying around my kitchen, I'm going to get a few of these. So I reused some old pickled onion jars and stuff that I already had, but I thought I'll get some more while I'm here for a pound. But yeah, I thought that was really good. So I got the mason jar one, which is super cute. And I also got this one, so it has the kind of suction lid. So I thought, really good, again, just to put all my nuts and dried fruit in, and I'm quite happy. I've got a lot of seeds as well, so they can all live in jars now. I also picked up these, so I've never seen the Chupa Chup ones before, so I was like, go on then, I'll have them. So this is a strawberry. And they just come in at little bars like that, somewhere like a snap bar. Yeah, I don't know, don't like it very much. So it's quite a rubbery smell, actually. They smell strawberry, but it's definitely more of a rubbery smell. And then I got the lime and lemon. I'm really hopeful for this one. Please be good. Oh, that's better. So yeah, smells really fresh. Um, you definitely get like the lemon smell, but again, has a rubbery undertone. So if they are in yours, Depends if you want a rubbery undertone. But they had new tea lights, which I'm really happy about. So I've seen these ones in before. I have bought these ones. So these are the orange punch. They smell amazing. I really, really like it. It's quite a spiced orange smell and I'm a big fan. But these ones were new for mine. So I have linen breeze. That's really nice. So like a fresh linen kind of smell really really nice i really like that and also wild berry that's nice so it has like a really rich kind of fruity smell really really nice so big fan of those as well so rather than the wax melts get the poundland ones in my opinion i also got some packing tape i have opened a vintage account now and i'm selling a lot of stuff over there at the minute because everything i have on there is a pound and it's selling really quickly so i ran out of packing tape like i've had it in my house like for years and literally never really used it unless i saw like the odd thing on ebay but since selling things on vintage i ran out so I had to pick some up. Oh, I didn't know I got these either. <laughs> I have issues. Okay, so I've got some more Whitwares, uh, snacking raisin and cranberries, and snacking seed mix. Uh, I got a soup bowl recently. I've been obsessed with buying soup bowls, so I picked up another one. But I can't wait to show you what's coming up as well. Like, I was like, what is this? Wow. I'm buying you. But yeah, I'm excited to show you that one. I don't know about anybody else's Poundland, but mine have got like, when it's gone, it's gone. Quite a lot of like little boxes and like shelf bits. I don't know if anyone else has. Let me know in the comments down below if yours has, but these are in there. So it's just some nail polish. I have mentioned it before that I used to have acrylics like all the time. And then since like pandemic hit and it was all closed down, I couldn't get them done. And now I just, I'm happy without them. But anyway, so I've picked up some nail polishes. I like this kind of cream one. I think this is really nice. I think it'll just be like a nice shiny nude. And then I just got this kind of like metallic shiny one. Both really pretty and quick dry. I also bought some bio oil. Well, Derma V10 Rescue Oil. Because since my weight loss, I do have some like stretch marks in areas. And I didn't want to spend quite a lot of money on the bio oil if it's not really going to work. Do let me know in the comments down below if you have used this and how it was for you, please. Or if you've actually used bio oil, like the actual brand. Do let me know because I am curious. This is specially formulated to help stretch marks, scars, dry skin, aging skin and blemishes. Suitable for sensitive skin. But I thought I'd give this a go and see how I get on. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below, please. 
ah yes i also found this in the little when it's gone it's gone so this is pout matters makeup gallery matte lip color i do love a nude so i thought i'd pick it up let's see what color it is oh it smells like toffee oh wow that's really nice that's a really lovely color as well I can't believe it smells like toffee. I've never used this before. So mm, I'm very happy with it. And I do like that color a lot. It smells like toffee. I also got sent in for these by my husband. So it's some shine on microfiber cloths. You get a pack of one, two, three, four. Some clean zone all purpose cleaning cloths and pipe cleaners. So my husband is going to clean out the engine bay of his car and so he needed these. We also needed like pipe cleaners but I think he wanted ones with like, like the big ends and like the wiry things to like get down and clean things. They weren't available so I bought the craft ones thinking they may just essentially do the same job. We don't know but it's worth a go for a quid so... And then I picked up these. I thought they looked so dang cute. So I had to get them. So these are these little elephants. So we have the hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. And honestly, they're adorable. So I just had to get them. I don't know where they're gonna live. I want them to go in the lounge. I don't know if I wanna keep them gray or if I want to spray paint them gold. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like, should I, should I paint them or should I leave them? I'm so indecisive and I love your opinions. So you always have, you always have such good ideas. So I like to always ask you. So yeah, do let me know what they are. So freaking cute. And then I found this. So this was actually three pounds. It's a portable folding barbecue. And I was like, what? It's three pounds and it's portable and folding and wow see we did have like that one day of really good weather and i was like it'll come back it'll come back we're fine we can still we can still do this it's been raining ever since and i was like i want my foldable barbecue but it tells you on the back like how it folds and everything i think it's pretty cool we only have a small garden so and we don't really have anywhere to keep like a big barbecue so i thought that would be ideal for three quid so i bought it anyway <laughs> that is everything that i got from this trip to powerland i really hope you enjoyed watching i do love sharing everything i get with you and yeah please do subscribe if you'd like to see more from me but apart from that please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and take care of yourselves and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>